Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got our hands on issue number 34 and we're completing the Mrs. Tiggy Winkle applique square. With issue number 34, you will receive these three embroidery skeins to complete off Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. You'll also receive this fabric. I'm not sure what it's for. There's no guide or instructions saying as to what this fabric is for. I only assume that it's for the applique in the center of the quilt, but who knows? I'm going to stash this fabric away with my squares in my flat box until further instructions. So this here is what the Mrs. Tiggy Winkle applique square should look like. Well, in the last episode, I had immense difficulty with this one. The pieces just wouldn't fit together. I did cut them out correctly and I did trace them correctly. They just didn't want to work. And because they didn't want to work, I used all of my pieces and I just made my own square. It's definitely Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, but she looks like a really young version of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. I added in her washing basket various floral motives and laces to replicate her laundry. I also added a bit of a pinafore and I've got a frill at the bottom of her dress. I've introduced the floral fabric but I did use her arms, sleeves and her hands and all of the features as indicated in the magazine for her head. Now that I've finally got an applique here down on my fabric, our next step is to stitch around our applique. I'm going to be using the sewing machine for this, not the embroidery threads or even any embroidery. And while I do that and set up the machine, here's a little bit about Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. So my sewing machine is all set up and I'm ready to stitch around Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. I'm going to start with her clothing and her pinafore before I tackle her head or the washing basket. I'm going to be using a white thread with a regular small running stitch. Lots of sewing to do, let's get cracking. around all of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's clothes and body areas, I'm now going to be stitching around her head. I've taken a spontaneous drawing with thread approach using the sewing machine and it sort of adds a childlike naive quality to it. I'm really liking where she's going. Mrs. Tiggy 
Periwinkle has been stitched. I'm going to be now tackling her washing basket in a random, spontaneous way. stitching around of the whole applique square, I'm going to be packing away my machine and giving her a press. I've given Mrs Tiggywinkle her final press. I'm now going to be using my So Quick glue to pop down a few little floral motives to finish her off. And here we have my version of the Mrs. Tiggy Winkle applique square. She looks nothing like the magazine's version, but she still looks like she's a hedgehog, so it's still Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. This is no doubt the hardest out of all the appliques that I've attempted so far. As you can see, I wasn't able to do the original, so I did make up my own using the pieces which were supplied and also adding my own little touches. The lace, the trim, the floral motives and all of this laundry which were lacy floral motives. And this fabric here, which was meant to be for her body in the original applique I've used as a pinafore. I hope you enjoyed making your Mrs. Tiggy Winkle applique square and that you had success unlike me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button and also the bell to be notified for future episodes. I look forward to seeing you next time when we make the Susanna Square. See you next time. Bye.